Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy, and today I have a rum coming out of Guatemala. It's the Ron Zacapa XO coming in at 40% ABV. I'll let you know why people love to pair this with the dark chocolate when I nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. All right, Ron Zacapa XO matured in a combination of ex bourbon and sherry cask, finished in French oak that contained cognac. Lots of stuff going on with this. Rums uh, ranging here between the ages of 10 and 25 years old and matured using the Solera system. If you're unfamiliar, essentially it's a big vatting that they remove rum from and replace it with younger stuff. There's always maturations happening. You can check out um, the graphic here. This kind of shows how that system is uh, accomplished. So we should expect a lot of sweetness on this. Let's see how it is on the nose. So right away, it's lots of caramel. It's so much caramel and toffee, sweetness, um, really, really present on the nose for sure. Lots of brown sugar, um, some nuttiness, definitely almonds, marzipan for sure. You definitely get that like almond paste uh, nose to it. Dark cherries, berry fruit. There's kind of like a smoked kind of wood. You ever seen maybe like an upscale cocktail place, they'll smoke a glass first and just put it down on a piece of wood. Ignite the wood so it burns a little bit, a little bit of smoke released into the glass. I'm getting that in here. Really, really good. Some oakiness for sure, along with that like smoked wood kind of note. But yeah, lots of sweetness, lots of sweet notes. Um, we'll get to um, added sugar in this later, but definitely sweet. Definitely for um, someone who has a sweet tooth. Let's see how it is on the palate. So that caramel toffee definitely carries over. Lots of like sticky toffee, like sponge cake kind of toffee notes, caramel drizzle, get lots of that. The brown sugar again, I mean like a red kind of licorice sweetness to it. Um, nuttiness again on the finish, that almond comes through, the toffee. Spice, get a little bit of very kind of mild, like cinnamon, clove, um, maybe like a little bit of allspice, Maybe like a little bit of like a hint of like ginger, kind of like a little kick of ginger on the finish there as well. Really enjoyable rum, but sweet. Definitely on the sweeter side of rums I've had before. Um, Ronza Kappa, I've had some of their other expressions, all very sweet. Um, we can talk about added sugar. A lot of rums um, have added sugar in them, especially stuff like this, like El Dorado, those rums will have added sugar. I'm not sure how much is in this one, but you can definitely tell it definitely has added sugar. There is a lot of sweetness in here. So for this, um, I think you need to be someone who likes sweet rums. I personally do. I personally do like it. I think there's a time and a place for them. This is definitely like a dessert kind of pour for sure. Um, I would say that the finish, I would say kind of like on the short to medium side, it's not very long, but you do get a lot of like decent complexity to it. Those different cast maturation types are, you know, showing their showing their head. Um, this was purchased down when I was uh, on vacation with the family in Colombia. Really like drinking rum in the hot climate. Um, summer rum just seems to work well, and at forty percent ABV, it's very drinkable, very approachable. Definitely like an after dinner outside pour. Absolutely great. Really loved it when I was drinking it down there. Uh, score wise for me. I'm gonna go 86 and a half out of 100, and for value, paid about the equivalent of 150 Canadian dollars for this. I'd say that's maybe on the little bit of the high side. Um, I think I'm gonna take off half a mark for value, bring it down to 86 out of 100. I think for this, the XO, I've tried the 23, and I actually drank the 23 a bit when I was on vacation down there as well. I think the 23 gives you a lot of what's coming in here. The cast types may be a little bit different in that maturation but you're still getting a well-aged rum. Um, very nice and sweet again. And I think maybe the 23 might be the better buy. You can find it for a pretty decent price, almost maybe like half the price of this, and you're getting quite a good rum. So I'd say that maybe the 23 is the better buy if you're looking, but this definitely gives you an extra kind of depth of flavors. Um, let's quickly talk about pairing it with dark chocolate. A lot of people love to pair whiskeys, cognacs, rums with dark chocolate. I think it works well together. 
because you get this combination of like super sweet rum with like the bitterness of a dark chocolate. This one I have right here is um, actually had dark rum where the uh, coca beans were actually aged in a Moderna cask. Kind of cool. Um, this is 75% coca. I would suggest maybe looking at something that's like 65%. 75% is quite a bit. Definitely don't go above 75. 80%, 90%. It's just too way too bitter. It's almost un um, consumable. But this one really good. It just works so well with this rum. Definitely recommend trying if you haven't tried dark chocolate with spirits before. Give it a go. It will blow your mind. Just kind of how well the combination between um, sweet and bitter kind of works. Really really good. Yeah, that's excellent stuff. For me, when everyone else is ordering dessert. I order this for dessert with the chocolate. I mean, you cannot go wrong with that. Really, really good. Let me know in the comments down below, have you tried a Ronza Kappa before? If you show, if so, which one have you tried? Have you tried the XO? What are your thoughts? Have you tried it with it versus the 23? Love to hear your comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time, guys.